Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorns. Work. Nine Cups. Star. Three Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Uh, yeah. There you are. Capricorn in the flesh. I do feel like somebody's trying to manipulate you, though. You had a wish come true in the distant past. It was a collaboration of some kind with another couple of people. I feel like the, I, I don't feel like this is love, necessarily love. I feel like this is more work related. So, sorry, my microphone was turned the other way. I hope you heard that. Like I said, I think you got a wish, but I think it has something to do with collaboration and work. I don't think it's it has something to do with, um, I think you're a star at work. Just say that. I don't know what you're doing, but that's what you're doing. Capricornian energy, eight of pentacles. You are earning your success. The nine of cups is what's crossing you. Your ultimate, you know, well, it's not the ten of cups. So it's not the whole family thing. But it's the nine of cups. So it is a wish being granted. And you know it. The wheel of fortune is in your future. Factors affecting the situation is this little player. Outside influence is money. A brand new beginning. Hopes and fears. And now I feel like there's some love here. I feel like you might have to make a choice between your career and a relationship. And I think you're going to choose your career because it looks like you're moving away from a past relationship in this situation. Let's clarify. What is this Three of Pentacles and the Star card about, Spirit? What is that about? Something that brought you out of a, a place of depression. Or grief Ooh. I don't like that guy there was an injustice made here all right somebody lied to you about this 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 uh, collaboration because it's still taking forever it still hasn't happened Okay, this was in the past, though. We're going to get to that. But you feel like somebody's bullshitting you here. And it is it, justice in reverse, five of cups, ten of, ten of swords in reverse. And then you got this guy in the middle, the knight of pentacles. Go on here, some pretty stuff. Would you like some pretty stuff? I'll give you some pretty stuff. Sign this contract. Be careful. That's all I got to say. Look who's asking. Yeah. Be like that. Devil's not bad energy. It's Saturnian energy. So it is reality. The reality of things. And I feel like you're being manipulated, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on here. What is this Eight of Pentacles? I feel like you're working your ass off. There's that Wheel of Fortune, you're fighting for it, that... Alright. Could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, with the Wheel here twice. A 
I'm gonna have to talk to you in a minute. That's my child. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune is spinning right now for your Ten of Pentacles, which is the ultimate prize. However, I do feel like you have to fight for it with this joker here. And it's keeping you stuck. But I think I think you know how to get down. It's just a matter of spinning that wheel in the direction that you truly want to go. Right now, it's like you don't have enough money to do it. But that's what your plan is. That's the plan. Walking away from a manipulator. Nice. You know this person has someone else. And you know that they're gaslighting you. They're telling you that everything that is wrong with them is because of you. That don't work. It don't work. And your wish is not to communicate with this person. You don't even want to talk to them. You are so over it. I mean, magic in reverse, magician in reverse, could be a Virgo. You are so over it. You ate a cups, you want to eat a cups that ass. I don't think you have yet because it's still, the past is still here. This is your challenge. You just want to win. So I got 666 right here, right in front of my face. 666 is related to turning in, well, it's actually balance. It's finding balance. It's like the pregnant lady. The six is like the pregnant lady. You know what I'm saying? So it's actually finding balance where there is none. No communication here at all between you and this, maybe these other two people. You don't want to talk to them. And you don't give a shit what they're doing either. You know, there might be some some stuff they're saying behind your back. You're not even looking at these people. Page of Wands, King of Wands in reverse. The world, it will be over. And you will get unstuck. There's that Ten of Cups. So, you will succeed in this in overcoming this manipulative cloud chaser. I mean, I, I, I just want to say that because this, this feels like somebody who paints a lot of castles in the sky. A lot of things that, they're not a doer. They're a bullshitter. They're a talker. I'm a talker, not a doer. But your wish is to close out this cycle. And with the Eight of Swords in rever reverse, that tells me you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. and you don't even care what they got to say, even if they say anything. But I don't think you even want to talk to them. I think you might even be trying to figure out a way to get rid of them silently. Silence! Silence! I kill you. <laughs> might have some Aries in your chart, because I'm feeling a little aggression there. Uh, Knight of Wands. This player is unstable. You thought that maybe this was going to be a contract or a relationship, but it turned out to be nothing but work. This whole situation that you were that that you had wished for that it came true turned out to be nothing but work. That's why I tell people to be careful what you wish for and make sure you want it, no matter what. Because you got what you wanted. However, it is the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, the Nine of Cups in reverse, with the Eight of Pentacles upright and the Strength in reverse. You just don't have enough strength to keep going and keep working on this situation. It's gotten to be too much work. You just want to get to your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten of Cups. But this player or whoever, it could be a Leo, it could be a Taurus, in the way of your real wish. I think you might have mistaken this for um, 
that whole twin flame thing. The twin flame is to catalyze you into becoming the, the person that you're meant to be. Sometimes they're not meant to stay together. And in this case, I feel like you're frustrated. You don't want to stay with this person. You don't even want to talk to this person. Because there was too much work. And they're living in your house. Capricorn. Okay. So you might have gotten a raise. Or you might have gotten some kind of a... a an upgrade, I'm hearing. Wheel of Fortune. Good Omen. Twice. I can't believe this. The moon, the fool, the three of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. The moon and the nine of pentacles are both upside down. So that tells me now you know. Now you know what needs to be done here. Now you, it's time to strategize. Now it's time to figure out what's next. Because there is a new beginning here for you. But it's with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So, watch your steps, Capricorn. And do you feel like you're being tricked at every corner by these people who make promises they can't keep? And I'm talking about work, personal, whatever. They think you a fool. Alright? They think they can bullshit you and tell you anything you want to hear and you will listen. And you're, I think you pretty much cut them out. If, if, I feel like they're living in your house though. Where, where the, oh, that was on the bottom. The four of wands. Yeah. Oh no, it's here. Yeah, upright. So that tells me they're living in your house. Whether you're talking to them or not. Two of pent two of well, two of wands, my bad. I'm sitting here. Yeah. We got a mental illness on our hands, guys. I said I got Virgo energy again. Seven of Wands, and this time, Justice is upright. You're doing what's right for you. You've retreated from the whole situation. You're not even guarded anymore. You might... Oh. I'm hearing restraining order, guys. Got Virgo and Libra in my hand. It's going to take a while. Whatever this is that you have to legally do to get this person away from you, it's going to take some time. It's going to take strategy. Be very, very wise because I feel like this person is very reckless and mentally ill. Uh, mentally unstable. Not necessarily ill, but they're not stable. They're way off in left field somewhere. And they think that their manipulation tactics are still working. And you've already cut that off. I mean, you've, you've cut it to the point where, yeah, that ain't happening, babe. It ain't happening. Y'all fucked it up. And I found out about it. Yeah. <laughs> the illusion is over. You messed up, and I found out about it. Now, it's just a matter of time in getting you out of my house. <laughs> yeah, you don't have, you don't feel like you even have a choice but to end this with this King of Cups. You don't feel like there's no choice but to make an ending here. Because it isn't what you want. 
This is, like I said, this is somebody who does not take any action at all. They're like a, a dead fish in the water. And you don't have any choice but to end it with this dead fish in the water. Because they don't, they don't want to do anything. And then we have the page of wands in reverse. So like I said, I feel like you're doing this very, very quietly. Because maybe this person becomes violent when they, uh, when they or, or says really nasty things when you guys fight. So you've gotten to the point where you're reversing that Five of Cups. You're reversing that Ten of Swords. And you're not allowing it to manipulate or mess with your life anymore. Good job. Sometimes it takes people years to figure that out. Hopefully this did not take years. And you might have to fight over some money. Yeah. One more. What I say? Restraining order. There's going to be some kind of legal issue here. That's where it's leading to. Because this person will not leave your space and keeps blaming you for why they're stuck. But you're not stuck anymore. You're not, you're not, you're not under their spell anymore, Capricorn. And I feel like that's, that's what it was. It was a spell. They're about to go to court. And the gift to you, my lady, or male... This is your gift for being strategic and being smart. You you might even be suing somebody here and they're not happy about it. They are really not happy about it. I think they just crossed the wrong Capricorn. They crossed the wrong Capricorn. I'm hearing they, they, what, what is that saying? They jumped in your lane. And didn't realize how strong you actually were. Some people got to find out the hard way. Yeah, there's no... <laughs> this person ain't gonna find out until the last minute. You ain't telling them shit. There will be no wedding here. There will be, If there's a marriage, it's about to go bye-bye. Because there's lightning. Lightning coming. Sudden changing. Shocking news. And you're telling them all about it now. That's in reverse. So, yes, today, Satan, we are going to handle this today, right now. You are not enough. You are a pain in my ass. And you look... <laughs> pathetic. You ain't even clever enough to notice that you're a snake. To me, this says stupidity. Not necessarily stupidity, but ignorance. This is ignorance. This is somebody who doesn't use all the tools in their toolbox, that magician in the, in the reverse. So instead of using the tools in their toolbox, they just thought they could sit back and take advantage of you and then tell you what what how crappy you are. Oh no 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 no. It's gonna be today. We're gonna talk. You might end up in jail. Not you, but the other person. Keep your temper in check, Capricorn. Aries. I hope you're happy. Taurus, you are not part of my plan. Bye, bitch. Gemini, 
We are not right for each other. Capricorn and Gemini, not right for each other. Cancer, I know we have a soul connection. Ooh, got a Cancer in the mix there. Leo, I don't know how to let you go. Straining order. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I throw in stuff. My, my bad. Virgo, I never want to feel that way again. Libra, I don't trust you. Scorpio, leaving you hurt me too. Sagittarius, I wondered how far this would go. And there's a lot of Sagittarian energy here. It's going to go as far as you push it, bud. Or, or lady, whoever you are. Capricorn, yeah, we know, baby. We're looking at it. Aquarius. I pretend that I don't care. And Pisces. Sometimes I hear voices. Pisces always hears voices. And you to everyone else. I couldn't tell you face to face. So you don't want to have to talk to these people anymore. Whoever they are. You just want to cut them out of your life. Without having to fight with them. But you're going to do it. It's like, I'm going to do this today. I'm not going to wait no more time. This person has wasted enough of my time. And thinks I'm a fool. So. Yeah. Whoever you are, I kind of feel bad for you in a way. This Capricorn ain't playing. They sick of your ass. To the point where they don't even want to talk to you. That's bad. Yeah, there's conflict here. The perception. Alright. I think I think you focused focused in on the situation more to get your ducks in order. So you can take this joker out of your life. Whoever they are. Could be male or female. I don't know. I'm not you. But I have conflict here. And that is fire, fire, fire. Saturn and Leo. This says a knotted ball of five dragons spit fire at each other in an aggressive struggle of ego. Their lack of inner harmony and unaddressed internal strife spews outward into the world, into their world, as an anger and conflict. The strife and blame these dragons are, are entangled in are reflecting the addiction to conflict and the high drama that is up for you, creating confusion and chaos in your life. Tame these fire-breathing dragons by rooting them out of yourself, out in yourself. Freeing your inner being to experience the peace that you and those in your life deserve. I think you're figuring that out, Capricorn, and I think you're figuring out how to do it Shh, quietly. Like I said, I feel a lot of strategy going on here to get yourself out of this entanglement. That you find yourself with somebody who ain't got the tools to do what they need to do in life. Not, not the, it's up here. It's not that they aren't physically capable. It's that they're not mentally capable. They're codependent. They, they count on somebody else to do everything for them. Because they never had to do it for themselves. It's time for them to fall on their ass. And figure it the fuck out. That's just the way it works. Alright guys. Well I know this is kind of a hardcore message. But it was coming from a kind of hard, hardcore place. I mean I, this ain't me. 
<laughs> but it's somebody. And they got... They're working on it. They want that wheel of fortune to spin in their favor, so they're working on it. They're, they're getting themselves unstuck from a situation that was too much work and somebody thought they were a fool. So it does work out for you in the end, I promise. All right, guys, those are your messages. Please remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.